Congresswoman Omar returned home to Minnesota to a different kind of chant. This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. As you heard there, supporters shouted, welcome home, Ilhan, yesterday. She was back in Minneapolis for a town hall. Dean Reynolds was there and joins us from Minneapolis. Dean, how have people in that area responded to this controversy? Well, good morning. Omar has a lot of supporters here in her hometown, as you might expect. They turned out in force last night, both at the Minneapolis airport and at a town hall later on. And those we spoke to blamed the president for picking a fight with the congresswoman, a fight they described as disrespectful and dangerous. We are going to continue to be a nightmare to this president because his policies, because his policies are a nightmare to us and we are not deterred. We are not frightened. We are ready. Congresswoman Omar told supporters at the Minneapolis airport she is not backing down. And so we are going to continue to create that hope. We have your back. And we yeah. There was more applause for her later at a town hall where she kept the discussion on policy, not politics. There are a lot of people that are trying to distract us now. But I want you all to know that we are not going to let them. Many in the town hall's audience said the president's racist tweets and rabble-rousing rhetoric in North Carolina Wednesday night were deplorable. I think most children are really uncomfortable with this behavior and probably realize there's something wrong with the adults. And there was a feeling here that the president was intentionally misrepresenting what the congresswoman has said about her adopted country. The idea that patriotism is something you have to love the country and or else get out of it. I, I think she loves the country, but she wants it to be better than it is right now. If you want to support Get Ready Production social media network, you can check out our Patreon page. You can donate as little as a dollar a month to help this operation stay afloat. You can also buy the books that I have published. My book is called Steps in Success. And I've also published this inspirational biographical rhyme book that was written by my mother called Mom Said, A Little Book to Grow By.